Hey, what is up, YouTube? We're back with another video. Back at it again. So, today's video is going to be on the Species Smock Kit. It's not on the kit itself, it's just on the mod itself, basically on the pros and the cons on it. Uh, I want to tell you guys a little bit about my experience since I've had it, since I've bought it. You want to see the entire review, I'll leave the link below. If you want to see just the review on the tank itself, I'll leave that link down below as well. So I'll go ahead and I'll show you guys that close up. Alrighty guys, so for now I'm going to start out with the pros. So the pros... It does go from 1 watt all the way to 230 watts. Um, I can show you guys a little bit, you know, just so you guys get the point. But yeah, I mean, basically, yeah, all the way to 1 watt. And it'll take you all the way to 230. But, you know, I'm sure you guys don't really need to see, you know, from it going from 1 all the way to 230. Uh, but yeah, that's basically that. Um, another thing, it is user-friendly. Uh, so that's what I do like about the, the mod as soon as you put your atomizer on top, you know It'll read it. Is it a new coil? Is it not you put yes? It'll set everything up for you basically if you want to tweak it here and there obviously, you know, you can um, Different colors uh, they come in seven different colors. I chose the the black and the gold That's just what seemed more appealing to me uh, but yeah, they have seven different colors on these mods. They have white and red, black with red. Um, they have the seven different colors, which is just like a multi-chrome. So they have a bunch of different colors. Um, another thing I will say, it is touch screen. So that's a good thing that I like about it. You know, it's touch screen. So you can, you know, mess with it. And, you know, you don't have to be doing the one click, two clicks three clicks you know hit me to this setting hit me to that it's just a touch screen so i really like that on the mod is that it is touch screen um it has a nice grip on the hands i will say that uh, so if you see like i'm holding it right now i mean it's a nice grip i have really small hands so i mean this grip is just perfect i can hold it perfectly in my hands i really like that about it um the big fire button look at this i mean this is a big big fire button you so you know when you're gripping it in your hand you just press it and it's just so nice the grip on it is great um and yeah i really like that that fire button it's really 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 nice um the battery door i really like that battery door basically where you just press it um here you just slide it up and it'll just pop it so yeah, we'll say the door, you know, it's nice because you could just slide that and then just clips back on. So I really like that on it. It is a little tight though to like get it, you know, get it open. But I mean, it's really nice. Um, the preheating set settings, you can uh, do a preheating setting. Uh, basically, you know, if you want it to preheat um, soft, normal, hard, you know, it's completely up to you. Um, I really like that it shows um, the puffs and the amounts of seconds so when you hold it it'll show you sorry about that it's just showing if it's a new coil or not like I mentioned to you guys you press on it and it'll actually tell you the amount of seconds you held it for so I really like that on it you can it'll tell you how long you've held it for so I really like that and it also gives you the puffs like how many puffs you've already taken from it. Um, so I guess that could be a, a pro if you see it like that. I uh, really like that on it. Another thing is that when it locks. So if you just click it here, press it down, it's unlocked. So you can just, you know, mess with it. Uh, basically mess, uh, mess with the wattage or, you know, go into the settings and all that. A good thing about it is that you can lock the screen. So you see that little lock. So... If, even if you're using it, you won't press it on accident and mess up your wattage. So I really appreciate that on the mod as well. Um, that's basically what I have, uh, basically all my pros to it. Um, you know, the style on it is obviously really nice, so that is another pro. I will say that. The cons. Uh, the only cons I have with the kit is that it doesn't include the batteries, but, you know, most mods really don't include the batteries. Some do. But, you know, you can see that as a pro, as a con. Some people don't really care. Uh, but, yeah, there's that. 
Um, another thing I will say, um, it is a fingerprint magnet, meaning that, you know, you're touching it and it leaves all this, like, fingerprints and all those smudges. So that's the only thing I will say is a con on that. Um, another thing I will say on the puff counters. So even if you put the puff counter to zero, it'll still count your puffs. So there's no way for you to basically put it to now to not count your puffs at all. Um, you can see it as a pro, as a pro, you can see it as a, you know, as a con, but I mean, I just don't want to know how many times I've puffed it throughout the day or, you know, it's just, I don't really care much about it, but I mean, it's completely up to you how you think about it. Um, but yeah, I will say that another thing I will say is when the battery gets low, you can't hit the mod. So like here, let me see. So yeah, like I mentioned, uh, when your battery's too low and you're vaping at, at like a uh, high wattage, like depending on your coil, like when I was vaping, um, this is a different coil, but like the single mesh, I was vaping at like 130 watts. That's what it was best at. And when my battery hit like that and I tried firing, it said battery too low. So you can't use it. Like you have to either go down on the wattage for you to vape it. So that kind of sucks and that's an inconvenience to my, in my point of view, because with my, like I know with my Vupu Drag 2, it doesn't do that. When it's, the battery's low, I mean, yeah, it won't hit it as good, but it won't, you know, basically it won't tell me like I can't hit it. And in this one, when the battery's low and I, and I press on it, it'll say battery low and it just won't hit it till you basically go down on your wattage so that's another thing that does suck i do have one last thing though and i want to show you guys that uh, basically you know when i first got it i wanted to mess with the settings and i didn't have the atomizer on it so let me let me take it off so i can show you guys all right so i have it taken off right and i could mess with the settings when it had it on so when I unlocked it, oh wow, that is so weird. So apparently now I can actually mess with it. Originally when I took it off, I don't know what's going on with this. I don't know if it's the mod itself, but when I took it off, the atomizer off, and I was trying to mess with the settings on it, it didn't let me. And now all of a sudden it does this sometimes where there's no atomizer, and all of a sudden, I can move it now. Like, it's just so, so weird. Like, I don't know if there's something going on with the mod itself or what. But it's just, I, I, that, that, that was another big con to me. The fact that, you know, sometimes when it doesn't have an atomizer, you can't mess with it. And then all of a sudden, something messes up in the system. And, you know, you can't. I don't know. It's just really weird. So yeah, guys, those are the pros and the cons. Some of the cons, you couldn't get to see them. Um, you know, when I told you about them, you were kind of like, well, it's not really doing that. But if you've had this mod for the while that I've had it and you've messed with the functions, you've noticed that those are some of the cons. For some reason, it didn't want to do it right now at the moment, but it just does that sometimes where sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I mean, that's the only complaints I have about it, but other than that, I mean, it is a pretty good mod. Um, so that's all I have for you guys today. Let's go ahead and take that quick vape break. So yeah, guys, if you guys want to go ahead and check out the review on the tank, I'll go ahead and I'll leave that down below. Um, that's all I have for you guys today. We'll go ahead and we'll see you guys in another video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys have this mod already? If so, what are some of your pros and cons? Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll keep you guys updated with other videos coming soon.